I'm a floating head. Welcome back to Versus Sunshine. It's Ashley, and I realized that this was not a good shirt choice in front of this wall. <laughs> We're going to be doing, what are we doing? DIY personalized doormats. They're like customizable. You can make them say whatever you want. Um, I really love the custom doormats with people's like family names on them. So I thought we would do some DIY ones really quickly because they're really cute, really easy, and of course I'm going to make one for myself. So let's do this starting with a doormat i got this at walmart this is a 20 by 30 inch for like a couple bucks they're not very expensive and then i'm going to take my handy dandy measuring tape and i'm going to measure out about how big i want my image or words to be i'm going to go to old handy dandy canva.com and i'm going to go to custom dimensions and i'm going to make it the size that i want my image and or words to be mine just happened to be 18 by 12 inches going to hit design and then i'm going to completely design this however I want it. Of course, you don't have to do it this way. This is just how I did it. Um, I kind of piddled with it and played with it and messed it around and just kind of, you know, had fun with it and made it look how I wanted. You can, of course, customize this to say anything you could possibly want on your doormat. In the end, once I get this done and lined out, of course, you can see me I've got this fast forwarded I don't move that quickly I'm going to download this now I'm going to do this with the Cricut let me start by saying you do not have to have a Cricut to do this project you do not have to do this the Cricut way I did put it into Cricut and cut it out you could totally print this out on regular printer paper and then piece it together onto poster board and trace it out I'm going to use of course poster board because it's cheaper than vinyl I'm going to cut this big piece of poster board into two so it fits on my long mat and this is the 12 by 24 inch mat, I think. It's like the longer Cricut mat, so that way I can fit the whole image on one sheet. But again, if you don't have a Cricut, don't fret. Just piece together some pieces of paper like that you printed out of the computer. Or even just hand sketch what you want on there on your poster board. And cut it out with an exacto knife. And then you can make your own stencil. I'm just doing this because I do have a Cricut and this is an easier way for me to make a stencil. So, of course, I'm going to set it for poster board and cut it out and sit and weed it out. But again, if you can just take an X-Acto knife and a hand-drawn image, it would work just about the same. Once you have this all weeded out, I'm going to pull it off of my mat. And I'm going to make sure I have all of the little innered pieces to all of my letters, like the O's and the A's and the E's. Just that little, tiny little piece. Now I'm going to bring my mat back and I'm going to place my homemade stencil onto my mat. And of course I'm going to use my tape measure to make sure it is centered evenly. And I'm going to just tape it down with some masking tape. Now of course this might look differently based on what your image is or what your words are. But I now want to place the innards of my letters. I guess that what I would call it the innards. Anyways, so I'm using this double sided tape roller scotch thing I got from Walmart for like a dollar. Um, it don't have to be permanent, it's just something temporarily to hold it on there while we're painting it so we don't paint these inside parts because we want them to stay black. So now I'm going to use this paint. It's outdoor indoor. Um, it doesn't have to be. This just is what I had on hand. And I'm just going to use a foam brush and I'm just going to dab it on. I don't want to brush it too much because I don't want too much paint to travel underneath the stencil. So dab it on until you get it completely covered. A couple coats definitely do at least two coats. Now I'm going to remove all the end pieces and as you can see it's kind of a little bit sloppy and not perfect so I'm going to take a dark painter pen that will kind of blend in with the rug and I'm going to use this to kind of straighten it out a little bit and kind of fix some of the spots and make them a little neater and I need to sweep my porch but that's it that's all you got to do and you can make your own custom doormat that says anything you want it to say you can make this completely custom to you and put whatever you want on it and it's just so awesome I just love it all right guys i hope you guys like these diy doormats um if you do don't forget to hit the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys next week with another video bye